everybody. Welcome to Off Planet Radio. I'm Randy Moggins. The website is offplanetradio.com. And uh, I kind of have, I think, this golden moment of opportunity when things just kind of align. And so there's a trend out there right now as a result of uh, a number of conversations that are going on in the viral media, the internet, uh, specifically uh, having to do with um, Cliff Hyde talked about this subject on a, another video a couple, uh, a couple of weeks ago, I think. And that's kind of going around. But w what we're really talking about is there's an assault on the human biology right now. All of the toxins that we live in were bathed in an atmosphere of electromagnetic waves, radiation that's leaking out from power plants and Fukushima and the background radiation, uh, genetically modified foods, bad air, bad water, all the things that are conspiring against you and your health and your ability to not only just prevail but to excel. And so what we're going to talk about tonight is basically technology for your biology. And I have two guests on the line with me that I'm going to introduce on a subject that I think many people have a great interest in right now. And that is uh, something that you can do that's a positive step forward in evolving your health, fitness, and well-being. So first up, um, my friend, longtime guest, media ecologist, activist for free energy, activist for economic justice and social justice, James Martinez. Welcome. Thanks very much. Thank you very much. Good to have you on, James. Your website, by the way. Uh, JamesMartinezMedia.net. That will become meaningful through the course of this show. And next up, um, I want to introduce to the audience the man who is responsible for what we're going to talk about. And that is uh, this, this product that we're going to discuss. He is a former aerospace engineer, and he has a very deep background in science. He's going to tell you more about it, but we want to welcome the developer of Carbon 60 C60, and his name is Bob Greska. Bob, welcome to the show. Uh, thank you, Randy. It's nice to be here. It's good to have you on, my friend. And uh, so where we kind of pick up on this conversation is, I think, first off, we need to talk a little bit about what it is we're talking about. And uh, either one of you are welcome to open up and introduce the product itself. I can talk about the, the carbon-60 molecule. Basically, carbon is um, a element on a periodic chart. and Carbon-60 is made out of 60 carbon atoms. Carbon is the backbone of life. We all eat everything organic, which contains carbon. And the carbon-60 molecule uh, plays an important part in our body uh, as it, uh, it, it's so configured that uh, it's a specific allotrope of carbon, like diamonds and allotrope. We got charcoal is another allotrope, which is amorphous. We have graphene, graphite. Uh, they're all basic forms of carbon. The, the carbon-60 molecule in particular, being made up of 60 carbon atoms, has the unique ability to donate electrons. In other words, share electrons with another molecule. Uh, that's basically the, the carbon-60 molecule. When you ingest it, put it in the body, uh, we suspend it in a sunflower oil. And that way there, you can take this and consume it. It is safe. It is non-toxic. It's carbon. Uh, we can't live without it. Uh, it's for very similar to eating a little bit of burnt toast, but the but here the molecule size is a very 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 small, and they have the ability to float around the body, donate electron, hook onto any toxins in your body or any any uh, ionically charged metals, which are the toxic metals, and also to free radicals, which are molecules in your body that are missing electron that that because they're missing an electron they don't know what they are and they don't function properly. The carbon-60 molecule donates an electron to that and, and, and puts that back in back on track. And that, that, way, that, that allows your body molecules to, that inhibit your body's performance to be out of the way or no longer in existence. And your body has more energy and more power to, to heal itself. It removes those roadblocks. Now you described this as a, as a free radical scavenger. So the process that's going on here is basically that this carbon-60 molecule has the ability to act as what? Like a super, super antioxidant? Yes, exactly. Like a superior antioxidant. Good, and, and superior being more, more, yeah, superior being more the fact that it's very, very, very tiny. 
and it has the mobility that's supported by being very tiny to move around in your body. Now, we're, this, is, this is ingested orally. How is the efficacy in terms of absorption into the body, into the tissues, and into the critical areas of the body that require the, the, the free radical scavengering that's going on and rebuilding of uh, healthy cells, displacement of toxins and things like that? Well, the efficacy is very, very, very good, being that, that it's so small, it absorbs uh, in your body within, uh, you know, gosh, t- t- two minutes, put it in your mouth. I've, I've had people react to, to it within seconds as, as far as helping them with, uh, you know, different, different situations. It depends on what your particular situation is and where those free radicals have collected in your body. If they're in the liver, you got liver problems. If they're in your kidney, you got kidney, kidney problems, so forth. So let's go into a little bit of the history on this product because it has a pretty deep background that, that also goes off into a, a rather iconic figure in history, and that's our Buckminster Fuller. And James, James is going to maybe talk about that a little bit. How, first off, you have a background in aerospace. Tell us a little bit about your background because that will inform, well, let's just say your depth in understanding this product from a, from a technical standpoint. Well, first off, I mentored with a guy in high school who developed fiber optics, and he told me and taught me a variety of different things. And since he was a developer of fiber optics, he was pretty advanced for his time. And then I studied uh, material science in college and studied carbon in particular, carbon fiber, and then worked in the aerospace build business, building uh, carbon fiber, graphite, epoxy, epoxy components and parts for aircraft structures and uh, mostly space structures. So I have a, a, a vast uh, background in, in carbon and carbon fiber and um, the different different forms of, of carbon and using them uh, for applications for building stuff. So, so the applications in aerospace then are largely in the area of material science, advanced material science. So you, 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 how did you, so your background is in hard science, but this kind of dog legs over into another area as well, which goes into health and nutrition. When did you first realize that this was something that could actually be an agent for change in, in, in the human biology? Well, part of my background also, I, I've developed, you know, I left the aerospace business because I got tired of making defense orientated equipment, which is really offense and you, you're doing destruction to people. And I said, you know, I, I don't want to do that. I want to do the opposite. I want to you know, help people. So I, 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 I quit the aerospace business, started my own engineering company and, and, and worked on things uh, that enhance human performance. Springs that are in their running shoes, you see, I pioneered that, pioneered that market by, back in the early 1990s. Those are those energy return springs you see in the Nikes and so forth like that. And then I built hyperbaric chambers that also enhance human performance by uh, simulating at high altitude. So this is kind of a, you know, in, in my realm, it, it, it initially, when we started on this project, to uh, say, hey, what is carbon-60? What's that all about? And I said, you know, I, I, think, I, I think I know how to synthesize that. Uh, just out of the blue. And... Um, I have a laboratory, so I, I spent a few weeks in my laboratory putting some equipment together, making a test trial, and made a very, very small amount of it. And then uh, I said, okay, well, that, 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 that looks black. It looks, it looks very fine. Uh, then, then continued, made a, made a little larger amount of it, uh, then a little bit more, then we got up to about a piece size worth of it, and, uh, then ended up uh, a half a thimbleful. And then we you know, tested it as... There's different ways to test to, to, to make sure what you have is, you know, uh, light transmission and reflection and colors and everything like that that was through it. And we sent it to the one of the local Colorado universities there. They put it under the scanning electron microscope. They tested it and they said, gosh, it's so small. We can't even see it. We can't get down that small. So, so what is so the particle size? Or, what is the particle size on about? Or are we talking sub nanometers in terms of, of, of the size of the, the material itself? Well, they're basically one nanometer, which is one billionth of a meter. Okay. Uh, you got a you got a micrometer, which is one one millionth of a meter. Mm-hmm. Uh, then you got a thousandth of a meter. So it's it's it's, it's pretty small. It's it's a it's a billionth of a meter. Uh, there's many meters from here to the moon. As there are, I mean, that's a scale of size. That's how many billion. There's about a billion meters from here to the moon. So one billionth of a meter. 
uh, is, is pretty small in size. Yeah, uh, comparison, uh, it's hard to compare it to anything because they're basically they're, they're, they're near atomic size, the size of an atom. There's 60 carbon atoms in a sphere, and they, they group pretty fairly tightly together, so you could say they're atomic size. They're 1.1 nanometers or right around one nanometer. Yeah, and the reason I asked you that wasn't to get overly technical. It was to give us some sense of what happens when we're ingesting the C60 itself. Again, it goes to the core of absorption and the initial absorption going into the body. Obviously, absorption is a very key element. Any uh, nutraceutical, we, we this is... We'll call it a nutraceutical saying that there's nothing medicinal about it and there are no claims about it. Maybe we need to put the disclaimer up front on that too, that uh, no claims are made about this. I've, been, I've used the C60. I, I have a bottle here that this bottle must be over a year old right now. I don't take it regularly, but I do take it from time to time, especially when I'm doing detox. I found it really helps with that. The stuff is visually very weird. If you put it on a glass slide and interact it with light, it's very strange. Yeah, it, it does diffract the light at a different, you know, they're small particles. I mean, the, the, uh, the product is very, very, very black because it does contain so much carbon. So, James, maybe you can uh, kind of uh, jump in here a little bit because the background on C60 has something to do with R. Buckminster Fuller, and uh, that's kind of sure. your area. Talk a little bit. Yeah, about I well, let me let me let me go back up and uh, yep. let you know how how I met Bob and how I even got involved with this. I was in uh, Colorado. I was doing an interview over there, and uh, I had friends refer me to uh, him. And and I, my and my immediate thoughts after talking to him about C60 and what he was doing and his reasons for what he was doing, he says he was pretty adamant about wanting to help people he was quite sincere about it and that in itself because i had been approached by a number of people to promote technologies uh, of various sorts and so i didn't just choose anybody but when i met bob i was quite impressed with his intention primarily and when he explained scene 60 what it was a nanotechnology was not a new thing to me, but the C60 was. And uh, when I found out his motivation, I was like, okay, I'm going to work with this guy because he's surreal. He's totally sincere about it. And I knew as soon as this um, started to be uh, consumed by various people, because we, we, we've given it to quite a number of people for an extended period of time. So we know quite a, quite a lot of the effects in depth. I said, you know, I was... I'm going to put my money on this guy because uh, he's good at what he does. He's sincere about what he does. And he's got the knowledge and background to manufacture it in the best way possible. So what was interesting is as far as when I learned, started listening to him talk about C60 is the, the reference to the buckyball or the Buckminster fullerene uh, based upon what, the, what, the, what it looks like. It looks like a little soccer ball. And I was always interested in Buckminster Fullerene because one of the main things he said is, uh, you know, don't fix a broken society, build a new one on top of it, and the old one will fall apart behind it. It will be obsolesced. And I felt that the C60 itself was a technology that would do that uh, for a number of things and resolve a lot of problems. And I'm always about, uh, you know, cognitive enhancement, health enhancement, and so forth. And both of these, both of those particular elements or um, effects occur with this. So I was quite pleased to be able to uh, work with Bob on this. So the, the, as far as reframing the body or re, re cleansing the body and uh, kind of uh, allowing the body to work at a high optimum level uh, was something that I was very interested in, as well as um, being able to see the effects that the public would have with it. So I, I was quite pleased to meet Bob. Yeah, and I want to go back on what Randy was saying, uh, you know, how, how, you know, it's truly that this product does not cure anything, and it, and it really doesn't. It just removes the free radicals that inhibit your body from healing itself. Uh, they get in the way. They, they're non-functioning cells at that point, and so if it removes those or completes them, uh, they're no longer in the way, and it gives you an opportunity 
for them to heat for your body to to, to to have some energy to heal itself and, and also i want to say is you know going going back is when when i first initially you know t- made several trials and made a small quantity of this and we tested it and looked at it and just and figured out that yes this is truly carbon 60 i i at that point i i spent 18 months uh day and night on the computer researching this uh, that's what i am a research scientist i i, I studied this uh day inside and out read every article i could find on carbon 60 and then realized that this is this is a superior antioxidant and said, gosh, you know, there's, there's no apparent, uh, you know, negatives to this. There's no downside. There's no side effects. There's, there's no too much of it. Uh, your body just consumes or uses or attaches what it needs, and the rest of it passes out your, bo- out your body like a vitamin. Uh, we decided to say, well, shoot, let's, uh, let's bottle some up. Let's mix it in. Uh, let's find an appropriate oil, in which we discovered sunflower would also be one of the best oils for it. I don't I think what oil you use is in particular matter, but uh, we we like sunflower oil because of its uh, suspension characteristics. It's, uh, it's shelf life. It doesn't go rancid. It's taste. Uh, you know, all those things involved. Uh, there's a multitude of reasons why we selected sunflower oil. And then we said, okay, let's start I, I, I took some myself, and I said, "Well, geez, let's let's see, let's see, let's see what happens." Uh, well, let me let me back up a little bit. When I, when we first started making it, or I started making it in the laboratory, this it, it, I opened the crack of the door, and I saw in, inside of a cubic centimeter. You know, you look and you see dust, and you can see all these little particles. Well, inside of a little sliver of light that came in the door, I, I, I saw thousands of particles. Well, what I, oh, what I could imagine to be thousands of particles, and I and I and I breathed. Uh, all of this carbon 60 into my body and I, and I noticed uh, like a total cleansing uh, came across me um, and uh, you know n- nothing negative nothing bad just uh, just a real feel good about it and that's when after studying it for 18 months after that point I did let's start giving it to people I gave it to my friends and family and people that I knew that could give me good feedback and we had you know, they just said, "Hey, this this is great. I I can I can. It, it's doing positive results for my body." So that's that's how we got started with it. Yeah, talking again about some of the results on this. When I talk to people about natural substances that we can use in healing, enhancing, and enriching ourselves, I think a lot of the conditioning that's going on in the culture, we're a society that's been trained into the pharmaceutical culture, which is quick fix, high profit high toxicity. And most people don't realize that the naturopathic route itself is holistic. It's a long-term strategy, although many people who use, and specifically the the, uh, C60, do notice some initial changes. But But basically, what I'm saying is that we're kind of conditioned in this culture to take pills and look for quick fixes, whereas Something like this is a strategy that's kind of in- integrated into our overall holistic health arc of strategies that we're using. Do you see efficacy at the level where people do have some changes that begin to occur immediately and then ramp up? Well, I I, I, I can say that there's a, other people that have had... Um you know, positive, uh, you know, within about four days, er- everybody tells me that they have more energy. They feel it. They tell me they have clarity of mind. Uh, those are the two most common things. And if you can feel more energy, I, I think that's significant. Um, you know, it's not just a, a tiny little bit, but, you know, since they say they can feel it, and of course, you know, the cleansing properties of carbon uh, as we all, most of us probably have or have used, is an activated carbon water filter on our tap water. Now, basically, that's carbon with a lot of micropores through it. That's what they call it activated. Uh, it has a lot of micropores, and that water passes through the carbon, and the carbon has that affinity to pull out the toxins. Well, in a similar way, carbon inside your body does the same thing. It attaches to the toxins and disables them. So, uh, in, in, uh, that's in, a real in, in interesting more interesting comparison. I like that. I like that. We're basically well, it's, it's, a filtration system into our body at a, at, at a very tiny scale that operates. That's, that's a really interesting metaphor. I like that. 
Yeah, and, it, and, and at scale, again, is extremely tiny. These things are, are very, very small, atomic in size. And if, you know, to, to share an electron, that electron, you know, you got a positive and a negative. And, you know, if you look remember your chemistry, electrons are, are negative and free radicals are positive. That's a small force, and since these particles are single molecules, uh, we've developed a proprietary process to de- to manufacture and convert carbon into single molecules of carbon-60. Uh, and these single molecules are what makes it important that they can they can they, they don't have very much mass. In other words, they don't weigh weigh very much. So if there's a free radical there and if the carbon-60 has a, a, an electron to donate and it's got a positive charge, they kind of magnetically pull each other together and share that electron and as a common electron between the carbon-60 and the free radical there, and, and therefore completing that free radical. The common denominator to most health issues is free radicals. Now, we get free radicals from toxins, toxins in the air, toxins in the water, toxins in the food we eat. Radiation causes free radicals. Radiation, you know, high doses of radiation knocks off electrons off, off the, off the atomic, at the atomic level. And since that, so then, then the carbon comes along and, and attaches to that uh, and, and shares it and completes that free radical and removes the the, the, the damage or inhibiting factor that it causes to your body. Yeah, I've had enormous amount of testimonials from people that are totally varied. Um, I always am interested in hearing what people have to say because usually I'll hear back from the person within 24, 48 hours. Uh, I met a guy yesterday, previously purchased again, and he says, I swear to God, that stuff makes my nails and hair grow so fast. That's what that's the effect for him. And this guy's a young teenager. Because I've, I've I've managed to be able to give it to people that are a lot older and younger, and determine the effects based upon uh, wear and tear of their bodies, how good they take care of themselves, and so forth. So we never know how people are going to respond to this. I mean, there's a couple of NBA players that are on it now. There's two news anchors that are using it now. Uh, so usually what I find is that uh, athletes, from my experience, because both of us have different stories, but from athletes that I've given it to, they don't have any lactic buildup soreness in the muscle. They don't get that. Usually uh, athletes are very aware of what they're, you know, when they're, when they're burning glycogen out of the muscle and they get the soreness from working out or tearing muscle down. When you're taking C60, that doesn't happen. You don't, you don't have that problem anymore. So in terms of performance for athletes that are athletic, that are already you know, in tune with their body and take care of themselves, it enhances, there's athletic enhancement and extra strength too, as I've heard from people many times. Yeah, because you've got the, the free radicals that basically form as a result of oxidative stress. I ran track in high school. I can remember the terrible pains that I would get, shooting pains through through my legs and calves after after an extensive workout, which at that time, we didn't have this to remediate this kind of kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So they're, they're, yeah. And it, the, the, the feedback is so varied, because I've only had two people that I know that, that have responded and said, I don't feel anything, but I believe you, and they, and they you know, kept using it, but they didn't get any effects. But I've had some people come up to me and have uh, a, a sense of a cognitive enhancement because of it, uh, and more clarity, as Bob mentioned, and other other ways to describe that. I know somebody that is a lawyer that I gave it to that they before they read anything of at length, they always take take C sixty, and that's just how they use it, and that's how they uh, are benefiting from it, just on a mental level. Um, I'm sure I know it's helping them physically as well, but I, I tend not to get feedback that often from people that refer to it as that. But it just goes to show that uh, it's different for everybody depending upon how much decay and stress they have on their body and what kind of lifestyle they're leading. I agree. It is different, but it, but it goes out to that common denominator, which is a free radical. Uh, as in oxidative stress, you mentioned, and high muscle function, yeah. you create free radicals. That's what causes delayed onset muscle soreness, DOMS. Uh, people that take the carbon-60 that work out, they can work out and have worked out more often without the muscle soreness because that 
muscle uh, uh, oxidative stress causes the free radicals, which causes, and then in turn causes the muscle soreness. So without that, uh, they can they can work out their say if they work out their upper body, they can work it out more often if, if all the free radicals are gone. Exactly right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, older people, older people that have been around longer than the young people. I mean, you got a young guy who's working out. He's got a good free radical removal system going in his body. Now, now let me tell you something. This is why you work out. You work out, you make free radicals, you remove those free radicals, get moved, removed in the, like two to three days after you work out. In the process, it not only removes the free radicals from the exercise, but it removes the free radicals from the toxins. So when you work out, you're, you're, you're strengthening that mechanism to remove the free radicals. And when those free radicals also pull out the ones that are caused by toxins, that this is why you work out to stay healthy. You're removing those free radicals. So the more you work out, the more you remove free radicals, the more it removes the, the toxic ones in your body. Older people who have been around longer, they're exposed to more toxins. Uh, it's just because of time. They, they, you know, they, they, they get exposed to them. And so they have more free radicals in their body. Uh, the, the, the baby boomers uh, are the ones who, you know, they, they take this and they go, oh, gosh, I, 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 I can see the difference. I, I, I feel um, I have more energy. I, I want to get up and do something. Those, those people really notice it. The, um, the ones that, like James has said, the ones that I have, that have not seemed to notice much at all is the, the young guy who's working out at the gym every day and has a good free radical removal system. But that's very few. That's only like, you know, one or two percent of the people that have taken it. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Even, even in the course of working out, you're, 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 there's a lot of oxygen exchange that's going on in the body, which again, oxidation throws off free radicals as well. So while it's good that we're we're doing this hyper oxygenation as a result of exercise. Are we not also creating free radicals as a result of oxidation in in the body? I believe we are from oxidation. Yes, oxidative stress creates free yeah. radicals. Yeah, that is correct. Yeah, I, and if, I might I might add this as well as 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 a um, interesting sidebar kind of connection to this is when I when I have uh, sold bottles, I check back with them. And I checked out with somebody last week, a woman, and she says, yeah, I've been rubbing it into my muscles uh, the entire time. It's great. I said, you rub it into your muscles? You don't put it in your mouth? No, I never put it in my mouth. I rub it into my muscles. I just put it directly on, which I, I didn't even like consider that because I thought the dropper body, the quickest way of entry would be into your mouth and you swallow it down or whatever. But some people experiment with it and they're putting it on their skin and rubbing it into their muscles and that, that's what they're doing. Which is interesting because I, I didn't even consider that. I thought it was just uh, put it orally in your mouth, put it down, done, and go get on with your day. But some people they, they they're rubbing it into their skin. Some people that are using it on their face for scarring too, and they've seen reduction in the, wow, uh, yeah, of course, uh, intensity 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 of a scar. Yeah, uh, that they did that, and I didn't even I didn't even bring that up. They just decided that they wanted to rub it into their skin. For various reasons, <laughs> you know, we've had people we've had people doing that also. You know, the carbon sixty organic sunflower oil. The sunflower oil is of small enough size that if you put it on your skin, the oil will dissipate and go into your skin in about two hours. You won't have that oily feel anymore. But the carbon itself will will penetrate the skin in, within two minutes and be systemic. In other words, be throughout your whole body in two minutes. Uh, the carbon particles are so small. Uh, people rub it on their muscles, their joints, uh, their 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 sore sore bones, so to speak. And um, they have said that they, you know, guy, it, it goes away. They're you know within two minutes, their muscle pain or their their soreness of their joint. Yep, yep, that's correct. Yep. I've had I've had people use it. Uh, runners use it specifically. I was interested to hear what track and field runners would feel on it. And I, I always say, yeah, just put it in your mouth. And I, then I, I'll call them back later and they'll say, well, yeah, I've been rubbing it into my ankle. And I, <laughs> what? what? <laughs> You're rubbing it into your ankles. <laughs> okay. Cause I yeah. don't give them that. I don't give them these ideas. They just do it. Right. 
And uh, they're telling me, like Bob said, that there's a, uh, it's runners used to use, you know, Ben Gay and Icy Hot or oh, whatever to yeah. get rid of muscle pain. Yeah, yeah. And now yeah, right. this guy, these guys are using, they're rubbing it into their ankles and, uh, uh, and their, their calves if they're running on tracks, you know, on the track. And they, they, they use that. And they said, yeah, it works, which is, I, I was surprised to even hear that. Yeah, we, we do want to be careful, though. Um, it is, you know, black. It's carbon. It's, it's, it's very, very black oil. And uh, you don't want to rub it on and throw a white shirt on. Uh, you know, it'll turn your shirt gray. <laughs> right. <laughs> you know, or, or, or before you go to bed, you know, I, I have people, uh, you know, for they have neuropathy in their feet. And they'll, they'll put some on their feet. And uh, then they'll put on a pair of black socks. And, and and go with it that way, uh, so they don't they don't get it everywhere. Now now the oil will wash out of your clothes in the, the first washing, but the the carbon is so small it embeds into the fabric, and it takes about five washings to to beat the black out of it. You know, basically. Wow, it's, 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 that's, uh, that's that's pretty yeah. intense black. Yeah, it is. Like I said, you know, if you play with the stuff, I dropped a little bit of it on a glass slide. I was looking at it through light just to get the optical properties. It's it's quite interesting material. That, that I said that's what we that's what we do in the laboratory. We just play with stuff until we figure something out. <laughs> well, it is. A yeah, I've done, I, I did. I did lots of research on it and found out. Okay, there's some other places it's made in the world, but not very many. And in Asia, it's used in uh, skincare. Um, and which I was when I was learning all the properties that C60 is used for. Um, just as a subject matter, not what we were doing specifically. Um, I found out that it's not, it's expensive to make and it's effective and it's being used in, uh, all sorts of stuff of uh, skincare. So, um, that's what I've told everybody. When, when people initially try it, I said, do your homework on this yourself. Look it up, find out what it is. Uh, watch, you know, do the, look at the research papers and learn a little bit about it. And, uh, um, that tends to work out pretty well because most people, they, they're not sure of what it is, but uh, it always helps to educate them a little. If- so let's talk, Bob, you have developed your own process for manufacturing this. Clearly, there are other people out there that are <clears throat> making the oil, marketing the oil, and it seems to be somewhat of a competitive market. But you've, you've basically committed yourself over the last two years that I'm aware of because you and James and I had a conversation, I'll say 18 months to two years ago. And at that time you were still ramping up, but you've committed some pretty, pretty substantial resources to building out your manufacturing capability. So you have a good supply line. You have a process that's unique. Give us your market differentiation in terms of, you know, your own, processes without obviously giving away any proprietary information, but it's just whatever you want to share about your own particular selling points on that. Well, yeah. Okay. Um, like, like you said, there's about six companies out there uh, that make carbon 60. There are, are there, and that's, that's actually making the molecule itself. I'm not talking about mixing it in oil. There's, there's another half a dozen or more companies out there that mix it into olive oil or different types of oils out, out there. But but they all purchase their carbon sixty from pretty much the same company. And and and, and they purchase it and then and they, and, the, and the, uh uh it, it their theirs is different. We we, we we don't purchase our carbon sixty. We convert it ourselves and we to my knowledge and I believe I'm I'm hundred percent accurate on this, we're the only one company that makes our own carbon sixty and makes it monomolecularly in other words we have single molecules um i just so to to my knowledge there's nobody else that can produce single independent molecules that stay single uh we manufacture a proprietary process to make single molecules they stay single and the efficacy is much much higher Mm -hmm. Uh, so the smaller the particle the better it is and the more and the more of them there are it is a real, that's a real important distinction to make. If you, you know, can, can honestly, you're, you're telling us that not only are you using a proprietary process, but you are creating a monomolecular carbon C60. That's a, that's a very distinctive yeah. selling point. I, I understand that, that right now, you know, the, there are some people out there who 
apparently cannot meet market demand for this. And so therefore you've had time now, you've ramped up, you're able to meet your, your market with, with product on a continual basis now. That is correct. Um, we, we, I said, oh gosh, you know, we can only make a laboratory quantity of this. So we regrouped for product controls, uh, you know, better tolerances on, on, the, on the processing parameters of making this and spent a lot of time, effort, and money to scale up the, the capacity of the, of, of the machinery uh, that produces this until we said, oh, okay, now, now we, can, we can keep up with demand a little, you know, better than we could before. So, yeah, we have a, we have a, a, a good capability to uh, produce this at a at a reasonable amount to you know to keep up with this you know we're ahead of the demand curve right now let's put it that way excellent so the product is on hand and available and maybe we'll just insert in here again your website for your product is c-60.com and james martinez right. you're marketing the Carbon 60 on your website at James Martini, jamesmartinezmedia.net, correct? That's correct. And okay. there, there's, there's uh, a couple interviews and information about um, C60 there, and obviously on, on the main C60 website, um, you can read a lot about there. There's a lot of information there. Yeah, so. Yeah, yeah we do have, we, uh, the website is c-60.com. Uh, that's our main website. Uh, we do have testimonies on another website, and, and that website is livebetterwithcarbon.com. So that's a little easier to remember, livebetterwithcarbon.com. That gets you to the testimonial uh, website, and, and, but, that, but it does link back to the c-60.com, where you okay. can actually you know, purchase the product there also. We have a, an online store. So that's the testimonial we, site. Yes, okay. the, the, yeah, the livebetterwithcarbon.com is a testimonial site. Now, one of the big issues we have right now, and I, I see that this is kind of broken out as a separate subject on the, the, the c-660.com website, is mitigation of radiation exposure. This is not a small subject because we, we presently have in the United States, for instance, several nuclear reactors, including Hanford and one up here in New York State above me, as well as this gigantic ecological disaster called Fukushima. And then on top of that, we, we're experiencing increasing levels of solar flare radiation background radiation and radiation now coming from the atmosphere that's been created by this new generation of electronics, which is creating a whole new realm of potentially horrendous health issues. So let's talk a little bit about radiation and what people can expect from C60 in terms of, of, of mitigating their own liabilities with radiation exposure. Well, let me talk about radiation in itself. Um, and describe it in layman's terms uh, what the process is. I mean, yeah, a little bit layman. Everybody knows from their chemistry, you got the nucleus of the atom. That's the center of it, and it has protons in there. And then you have electrons orbiting around, pretty much like the Earth orbits the sun. Um, and the electrons orbit around the, the nucleus of the atom. Now, radiation, we have background radiation all over the world here. Uh, but it's a low dose, so you get a photon of radiation that shoots through that that atom, which is the nucleus and the electron zipping around it. Now, most of them, you know, it's a hollow sphere with a with an electron uh, buzzing around it. It buzzes around so fast it makes it makes it seem like it's real, like like it's a solid thing. But most of the time, that photon of radiation will pass right through that uh, atom because there's a distance between the center and the, the electron. Now, you have a high incidence of radiation. The higher the probability one of those photons is not going to just pass through that atom, it's going to knock off an electron. And when it does, you have a free radical. And that's where the carbon will come in and replace that electron or share an electron uh, to, to replenish that. So it's no longer a free radical. Uh, so, so, so as far as uh, radiation mitigation uh, or, or, or 
helping out, uh, yeah, you get basically uh, exposure to radiation causes free radicals. I hope that was explained. No, Did no, that was, that, right? that was, that was, no, that was excellent. Um, James, you got anything you want to add at this point? Well, I, on top of that, I would just add for myself personally, I've, I've not, um, run into anybody, uh, that I've been able to test this out with, with radiation poisoning. Um, however, if people hear this or, uh, they're inclined to do further research about it or whatever. I hope you would, you know, if you end up uh, purchasing a bottle or whatever happens, I, I hope you would uh, let us know what happens with that. Uh, wh what effects do you experience if you've got radiation poisoning? I definitely want to hear about that. That's very important. Yeah, we're going to put your contact. Yeah, I think it's an important subject. Yeah, we're going to put your sorry. contact. In, we'll put the contact information out with the video so people know how to contact both of you gentlemen and um, get some feedback on this. I, this is an area right now that I think is really critical because of the assault on our bodies, technologically especially. And I, I, I'm seeing just we're, we're now braced for 5G networks being put onto the grid along with the smart meters that have been deployed uh, across North America, and I, I imagine they're doing it in Europe as well. These devices, in concert with the the high power mobile devices, the Wi-Fi networks that are so ubiquitous now, are all putting out a type of non-ionizing radiation, and most people don't realize the effect that this has on your biology. Yeah, exactly. There's literature out there about this, lots of it. But it's not a subject matter that I hear too much people talk about because it's totally invisible. And I think the the uh, as we progress here, um, I will eventually hear from people that have got you know overexposure from radiation in whatever form, and we will, we're going to get to hear the effects of the interface with C60 uh, and radiation, which I'm looking forward to hearing about. I have not heard that yet, but I know that's coming sooner or later. Well, yeah. I'm, we're not even, not even uh, you know, correction of the problem, uh, prevention. Uh, well, that's where I was going know, with this. Good. Yes. Excellent, Bob. Because I'm yeah, not, I mean, I'm, I mean, if you could, if, 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 if you can arrest or, or, or secure that free radical immediately, you, you shouldn't have a problem. Uh, and if you have some in, in your body floating around, it, 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 it's available. Well, here's the, here's the thing. And by the time you realize that you've been damaged by all of this collective assault on us, it's pretty much already too late. The cancer rates are escalating even now. Uh, tumors, brain cancers, leukemia, they're not making the... The science itself is not yet at the place where it's made the connections, largely because this is such an escalating technological scene. But anybody that understands radiation and understands that it is, even at a low level, an assault when your physiology should be concerned about this. It's one of my primary concerns right now because I'm exposed to it. I can't take myself out of Wi-Fi networks and computer networks and exposure to uh, high amplitude electronics and all the other things that are damaging to my body. And I'm looking at this and I'm looking at what you're saying about radiation. I don't think there's a whole lot of difference between them. And what I'm seeing now is that I need to start taking these on a regular basis just to mitigate, just to prevent the damage that probably, you know, I'm, I'm experiencing right now as a result of my own exposure to this. I think, it's, well, I mean, if you look at too, I mean, uh, you know, you, you guys mentioned cancer. Cancer is nothing but a collection of free radicals altogether. Right. Um, you get you get one free radical sitting there, and I've talked to doctors about this and uh, oncologists, and you know, one free radical is is one free radical sitting there. I mean, but if you get two of them together, and as you notice, you always heard uh, the cancer molecule vibrates at a different frequency. And that's because basically it's missing an electron. This is it. And if you get to two of these next to each other, two free radicals right next to each other, they'll start vibrating at a different frequency and they have enough mass to cause the third cell next to it to shed an electron. And then, then it domino effects. And basically that's what cancer is, a collection of free radicals. Yeah, well, that's, that's profound. 
So, you know, here we have another area where we can begin to address the application of the C60 in, in a beneficial way. Because I was, I was, when, I, when I was going over material on your website, you specifically mentioned people who are in danger of exposure to radiation, astronauts, airline pilots, flight attendants, x-ray technicians, people who live or work near nuclear reactors, power plants, submarines, aircraft carriers. We all basically live in a lower level in an environment that is just as hostile as what those professions are experiencing. And I can't underscore this enough because I'm about to go on a full-on rampage about 5G and the exposure that we're receiving as a result of our cell phones and smart meters and all the other things that are around us because we're about to experience what I consider to be extremely high mortalities at younger and younger ages, by the way, as a result of all of this tech that's around us. Yes. And I, I feel from the very beginning that this C60 is going to be an important countermeasure and something that people are going to need to take on a consistent basis, just with all of that that we discussed and we mentioned. So gentlemen, any, uh, where else you want to go with this? Um, it's it's a pretty wide open subject because there's so much we could discuss in terms of it. We've talk, talked about the free radicals and oxidative stress, the efficacy of the C60 and Bob's ability to supply very high quality product to the marketplace. What have, what have we left on the table at this point? I think we've pretty much covered it. <laughs> the only yeah. way people people are going to find out is that they're just going to have to give it a shot. Try In it the out. end, that see really what, is what, see what happens. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And and to that end, how do they obtain their their C60? Well, they can they, go online, line at uh, c sixty dot com, and click the buy now button, the buy now button, and 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 purchase it with uh, either PayPal or a credit card. And uh, we ship it through the United States Postal Service, and uh, we ship nationwide. Uh, we actually ship worldwide. And uh, in the U, in the 48 states, you'll you get it within three days. So we ship daily. It's just a matter of uh, getting on the website and, and ordering it. And that's your your best way. And we have a, a coupon coupon code for the first bottle you buy. You you get ten dollars off. So. Uh, you can add that in there, and it, it tells you right there. It's the first time buy. You can you can add that in. Excellent, James. What about your own marketing outreach right now? You're kind of uh, you're kind of an advocate, and uh, oh, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a total advocate. Uh, I am going to be doing way more, discussing this way more on multiple radio stations, and with various people. I, I met with a. Um, neuroscientist that had a very large clientele of professional athletes and i i uh i'm always interested in hearing what people have to say because the the feedback and the testimonials they're all over the place there's not <laughs> it's all over the place because yeah. I, I don't get it the same story uh from a consistent same story it's very different uh, for different people i mean this one guy yeah, says, I, everybody's different you must you must say they're all positive stories, though, right? Correct. I mean, we don't. Oh, have they're all. Downside. Yeah, they're all positive. They're, no, I, no, I haven't no, had anything no, negative. No downside. <laughs> yeah. There's no downside. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the guy uh, yesterday brings it up to me. Yeah. I. I. Uh, my girlfriend wants it because she's trying to grow her hair. I'm like, oh, okay. All right. <laughs> okay. Because <laughs> he says he uses it for hair and nails, and I don't hear that from anybody else. I hear other things. So the the testimonials when when people. Are paying attention and they begin to ingest it uh, are are immediate. Like for instance, m my friend who works over at RT, Sean Stone. He's he was a consistent buyer immediately. He went through a bottle like in two weeks, which is <laughs> most of the time you can make it last longer than that. But yeah. he immediately wanted. Uh, uh, he's a consistent buyer. He's done quite well with it. He likes it. Yeah, yeah. I don't, yeah, they give, uh, a bottle lasts for forty five days. Okay. Uh, you take two. Two thirds of a dropper and just put it in your mouth. There's no taste to it, uh, to speak of. Uh, it's just an oily texture, and basically, you know, fill the glass pipette a little over halfway, which is two thirds, and just uh, just pop it in your mouth with or without food. Uh, it doesn't matter. It's, I, I I I like to do it first thing in the morning because it's there on my my bathroom counter, and oh yeah, there it is. Okay, take it. I, I I've been taking it consistently for 
three and a half years. So, and then I, you know, one people, the people do say, you know, I haven't seen for a while. I say, they say, what, what are you doing? You, you look younger. What's going on? You know, you know, they, I haven't seen them for you know, six months or two years, and uh, I get that comment quite frequently. Mm, that right there is a testimony on itself. Who doesn't want to look younger? Who doesn't want to live longer? Who doesn't want to be mm, healthier, more vigorous? and uh, able to put off a lot more energy. Sounds like great stuff, guys. Like I said, anything else we want to talk about? James, you got anything else you want to do on a sidebar at all? Um, I am going to be returning to the airwaves in the not too distant future. Uh, and I've recently been asked, actually was asked to go on uh, CNN and Good Morning America 48 hours ago. I declined, um, but come the time when I do some more press, I, I'm going to be talking about the C60 issue more. Uh, I, we've taken a lot of time, uh, Bob and I, um, going through testimonials, get, getting feedback from people, finding out how they respond for a long period of time before we, before I went out and did any, you know, uh, rah rah about it, because uh, I wanted, I wanted to hear. And now we're in a position where we're going to be expanding, and people are going to hear more about this. Cliff High, I'm, I'm glad that. I brought it up. Actually. Absolutely. We I love did, Cliff here, by the yeah. way. Yeah. 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 Um, kudos to him because I was contacted uh, this afternoon that he, he uh, somebody contacted me, emailed me and said that he, he mentioned it again. So um, it's that's good. Uh, the C60 story needs to go out. And so I, well, I'm he's happy. Gonna to hear, listen, he's a listener to this show. He'll hear this. And as a result of what he's done as well, there's already some interest out there. I, I floated trial balloon out on uh, Facebook and social media saying we're going to talk about this. And people need to know this is the premier product. It's the premier provider for Carbon C60 because uh, this is the guy that basically put his, himself to the task of making uh, an optimal product with great process and the ability to provide the product on an ongoing basis. Excess, excess inventory right now, folks. So there's no way the, the some people out there have said that there was uh, – a waiting list. There's no waiting list here. You can uh, jump on the website right well, now. Well, not, 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 not today. <laughs> or not <tomorrow. laughs> Yeah. I guess that's everybody's dream when you uh, out demand your supply, but uh, we're, that's right. we're, we're, that's right. we, we purposely, pur we purposely held this back and slowed it down. James, and James, you and I have talked many times how we intentionally said, okay, let's make sure we get the website up. Let's make sure we get the links there, the backup with all the, the backup information and, and uh, medical abstracts that, 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 that show the testing that has been done on this. And so we purposely slowed it down. Uh, it, but now we're in a position, we've got all that basic work done. Uh, you, know, you know, there's a lot in getting things out there to make everything happen. But now we're ready to uh, you know, push the, the marketing envelope. And, no, and I, oh, there's one thing that we did, did not mention that I do want to mention is that we make the carbon. We don't use any solvents. Um, that's the, important. Other people use solvents in their processing when they make the carbon. The carbon itself, I'm talking, not not mixing it into oil, but making the carbon. Uh, uh, others use solvents in that. We use no solvents. We're completely solvent-free. We don't have to write on our website, not for human consumption. We don't have to write for laboratory use only. Uh, ours is pure and clean uh, so I, I, and solvent-free. So that's, uh, that's a big point that we did not make earlier that I just wanted to point out. I had to follow that up with a question. I'm just curious to know. But if they're using solvents, that means that they're what they're extracting from a monolithic material. Well, basically, uh, the the process in a nutshell is that they, uh, yeah, they 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 take a a, a laser and they blast off okay. a piece of carbon and make many many small particles. Some of them are carbon sixty, and then they use a solvent uh, process to. Uh, separate all those other particles from the carbon sixty to purify it. It's like 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 a distillation process, okay. if you might say, but it's not just distilling, but it's a solvent process. So they so they they they, they repeat that and do that several times to uh, get a high concentration of carbon sixty. 
and and, and they use and, and solvents are used during that process and and we don't use any solvents whatsoever we we make single molecules they stay single and we suspend them in the oil and they're single and separate from each other okay that's good to know i mean uh, that the more we know about the the purity of the product uh, that was just uh when you were mentioning that, I'm thinking the process and what does that entail if it requires solvents, not good. I want to keep it pure. Gentlemen, it has been a really fun conversation over the last hour. Hopefully, we got all of the information out. The websites, again, um, each James, give your website out, please. JamesMartinezMedia.net. And we'll post your email address as well. Bob, go ahead and give out your two websites for the C60 as well. Yeah, the main site is c-60.com. And the testimonial site, which is linked together, is livebetterwithcarbon.com. Okay, there you go. We answered the questions you asked, and uh, there's no excuse now. You know where to find it. You know what it is. And there's lots of research on the websites. C60, it is the new technology for your biology. I'm Randy Moggins. This is Off Planet Radio. OffPlanetRadio.com is the website. The truth is out there. It's inside you now. Go get it.